I've added some records here now, so what could be a really good idea is to actually have something that makes it a bit easier to search. Now what you could do is you could click in a field, and then if I just move this up, I could use my find button here. And I could find someone that I'm looking for, and press find, and in here it will have found that person. And you could have a few people to find in there, but what I want to do is add in a combo box that will recognize, we'll do it on last name, it'll find their last name, appear in a list, we choose it from the list and it jumps straight to that record. So the first thing I need to do is go into the design view here. If I click on this little button here, that takes me to the design view, which you can see here now. I've just got to move some things around a little bit because I've got my toolbox down here as well. I'm just going to pop that up here. And what you'll see is this is where you can see all the elements for your form. So you can see all the fields here and what the names of the fields are. But you see there's a form header here. The form header is a bit like a page header. It always stays at the top of the form regardless of scrolling up and down. So those, so whatever you put in there will always remain visible. Now that form header is a bit closed up at the moment, so I'm going to just click and drag. You see when I move the mouse pointer there, it becomes a double-headed arrow. Might just make that a little bit bigger. I've got my toolbox here, and you can see there's all sorts of things here for putting in a label, text boxes, command buttons, and so on. And there is an option here for putting a combo box. That's what we're going to do. I just want to make sure, and I can see that it is selected, that the control wizard is switched on. That's this one here with the magic wand. If I turn it off, it looks like that. If I click to turn it on, it looks like that, and that's just what I want. I'm going to click on this combo box. I can come up to here and I can click and drag to draw it in, or I can just click where I want it to go. I can change the size and everything like that later. So I'm just going to click and it comes up with my combo box wizard. It's this last option here that I want. Uh, find a record on my form based on the value that I selected in my combo box. So if I hit next, it's the last name that I wanted and the first name as well. So I'm just going to choose both of those. I'm going to hit next. This is how they're going to appear. Last name first and then first name because it's the last name that I'm really going to be searching on, but I might have two people with the same last name, two or more, and I need to identify who that is from the first name. So if I click on Next, what label would I like for my combo box? I'm going to put in here Search Last Name. So that's going to appear next to it. So if I click on Finish now, you'll see it says Search Last Name there. Here is my combo box. I can move it around. I'm going to put it over here on this side here. And actually, I don't need my form header to be so big. Let's try it out. To do that, I need to just go back to my form view. So I'm just going to click on this button here. Here is my record. If I click on this drop down list now, you will see the list of people that I have. And it's got about 10 people in there now. So if I was to choose this person, it automatically jumps to that record. So it's searching it, and again, it's jumped again. I could start typing in a name and press enter, and you'll see just how quick it is to take you from place to place. So that's using a combo box to do searches on an access form.